If you've watched some of my previous Prisma 3D animation tutorials, you've probably heard me talk about the graph editor. It includes different options like ease in and out, linear, constant, and sometimes pinpoint. In this video, I'll walk you through how each of these works and how you can use them to make your animations smoother, faster, and easier. Let's start simple. I have a sphere here. If I add a keyframe, move the sphere, and then add another keyframe, Prisma 3D automatically sets the motion to ease in and out. That means the animation starts slowly, speeds up in the middle, and slows down again at the end. But if I switch both keyframes to linear, the sphere will move at a constant speed from start to finish. No acceleration, no slowdown, just smooth and even. See the difference? Now, what if we change the keyframes to constant? With this setting, the object doesn't actually animate between frames. Instead, it instantly jumps or teleports from one keyframe to the next. This can be useful for things like sudden appearances or sharp cuts in motion. So those are the three main graph editor options in Prisma 3D right now. Ease in and out, linear, and constant. Each one has its purpose. For example, ease in and out is great for things like a bouncing ball because it makes the motion feel more natural and realistic. Now let's talk about something a little different. Pinpoint. If you're working with a rigged 3D character model using IK, inverse kinematics, you'll notice that when you select a hand or leg bone, an extra graph option appears. This is the pinpoint. The pinpoint allows you to lock a character's hand or foot to a specific position. So, even if the character's body moves, the pinned limb stays exactly where you set it. This is incredibly helpful for making precise animations, like keeping a foot planted on the ground while the rest of the body moves. Here's a quick demo. First, select your character and add a keyframe. Then move the character forward a step and add another keyframe. For now, set both of these keyframes to linear. Next, select one of the leg bones. Check the position of the leg in the first keyframe, then manually type in the same position for the second keyframe. If you play the animation, you'll notice the leg doesn't stay planted. It slides around instead of staying fixed on the ground. Now go back and change the graph of both keyframes to pinpoint. Play the animation again, and this time you'll see the leg stays firmly in place. And that's the core function of the pinpoint option. It locks a limb to its position, making your animations more stable and precise. And that's the basic function of the graph editor options in Prisma 3D. Play around with ease in and out, linear, constant, and pinpoint to see how they affect your animations. That's it for this tutorial. More Prisma 3D animation tips are coming soon. Thanks for watching.